as I told you in my previous video that I will be explaining how we can find inverse of a matrix using elementary operation. So here I have also specified elementary row operation. Uh, so here I will show how we can go systematically and in a very uh, fast time. So we will be writing the given matrix in the augmented matrix form first. Augmented matrix means the combination of two matrix. So here the given matrix and the identity matrix we are combining and our target is to make this portion as identity and whatever the resultant matrix we get here in the last step will be the inverse of the given matrix. So let's see how I'm going. Our whole algorithm will be based on only these three steps that make this entry 1 below entry 0, this entry 1 above and below entry 0 and this as 1 and the above two entries 0. While doing so, whatsoever app operations will be applying will also be applied over here, which will give us the inverse in the last step. So let's start doing it. So we know that keeping any one row constant, we can make changes in the other two rows. So here I am making changes in the second row and third row. How, how we can make this as 0? By adding minus 3 with plus 3, right? So minus 3 plus 3 times the element of first row. So r2 plus 3 r1 similarly how we can make this as 0 2 minus 2 that means r3 element minus 2 times r1 element so r3 minus 2 times r1 hope you will understand these operations from now on in the successive steps so i am applying it so here first row is as it is write it 1 3 minus 2 1 0 0 and uh, this becomes 0 then 0 plus 9 is 9 minus 5 minus 6 is minus 11 then 0 plus 3 then 1 then 0 then here r3 minus 2 r1 this is 0 5 minus 6 is minus 1 then 0 minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 then 0 minus 2 0 and here 1 now our next step is to make uh, this entry as 1 so how we can uh, make it 1 by shifting this over here that will that will be a more easier way to make this entry as 1 see we have to uh, see if we can avoid any fraction occurrence in these steps so what i will do i will interchange these two rows so r2 is swapped with r3 so the new augmented matrix which we get is this. Here in second row now we will have third row 0, minus 1, 4, minus 2, 0, 1 and 0, 9, minus 11, 3, 1, 0. Now I want 1 over here, right? Now after swapping it here easily we got minus 1. Now the thing is this negative should not be there. So we will multiply complete row by negative sign. So in R2 what we are doing, we are multiplying with minus 1. See these are the basic operations which we can do. Uh, another video I will be making based on that what are elementary operations, things which you can apply. Here I am considering that, considering that you are already aware of it. So I am directly am applying the operations. So the new augmented matrix I get is this. 0, 1, minus 4, 2, 0, minus 1. 0, 9, minus 11, 3, 1, 0. See, there is a change in negative sign on all the elements compared to before. Now, easily we can make this as 0 and this as 0 using the second row element. So, in first row, R1 minus 3, R2 and R2, R3, R3 minus 9 times R2. Keeping second row constant, making changes in first and third row. So, this becomes, so we get uh, this matrix the above entry we got 0 and by applying this operation r1 which is minus 2 minus plus 12 is gives 10 similarly second row is constant and we get the third row now i want this element to be 1 so for doing so i have to divide this element by 25 because there is no other option which will help us in getting so so by dividing the all elements of third row by 25 we get 1 here and minus 3 by 5 here because when we divided by 25 5 is a 15 5 by 25 and then 1 by 25 9 by 25 now we will make use of this 1 and make this and this entry 0 here uh, 
by applying this operation uh, these in elements also get changed minus 503 we get by applying this operation say 1 minus 6 gives minus 5 and 0 minus uh, 3 into 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 minus into minus is plus 3 is 3 so here we have these elements minus 5, 0, 3 and uh, for making this and this entry 0 uh, we apply this operation R1 minus 10 times this will give 0 and uh, here also I want 0 so R2 minus 4 plus 4 R3 will give us 0 so in first row and second row we have to make the changes by doing so uh, here also the desired changes takes place as per the these two operations and the required inverse is the inverse obtained over here because this was the last step where we got the identity matrix so this is what a inverse is so this is how we calculate inverse of the matrix using elementary operation. I will come up with more examples and I request from all the viewers that please write in the comment box which you video you want next so that I get better clarity over this that which, uh, which is your necess necessity. Uh, okay, thank you.